So I'd like to talk to you a little bit about how to estimate yield in the field this time of the season, you know, in August, September. Um, it's a pretty easy, universal process, but not everyone has done it. And so I've measured off here 17 feet 5 inches. I have 30 inch row spaced corn. That is one one thousandth of an acre. And honestly, while we're here on the field edge so that we can get a nice video, you never want to do this on the field edge. You know, you're going to want to go into more of a center area of the field, 16 to 24 rows off the end, and do your check. So in this situation, we would count, count all of these ears in this space and that gives us our ear population. Then after we do that, what I like to do is I start at the beginning and I shuck back the ears on the first plant and then I'm gonna want to count the number of rows around. So I always start one with my finger, 18. Then you also wanna count the number of kernels long. So we're gonna count I usually leave the bottom one on, on the butt off, and I usually leave the top two or three off because you don't always get all of those kernels uh, into the combine. So one, and probably 38, I'd leave these tip, tip kernels off. So 38 by, this was 18. And so what I'll do then is I'll, every fifth plant, repeat that cycle. I'll get the average of rows around, the average of kernels long for this 17 feet 5 inches, and then I'm going to multiply the number of ears by the average rows around by the number of kernels long. And so we'll just do this, for example, um, here on this particular ear, and let's just assume that my average is this all the way down through this, through this plot. And so we're gonna take, I think I said it's 18 by 38. So 18 times 38. And in this plot, uh, we're, we're planted about 36,000. And as you get inside the plot, it's really one ear per plant. So we're just gonna assume one ear per, per plant. So I'm gonna multiply times 36,000. And that gives me 24, 624, and I'm going to divide that by 90. And that's going to give me a yield of 273. Again, because we're on the outside, we have more light, you know, that's a very high yield. We typically aren't going to find that inside the field. Most of the yields that we've been finding here have been in the upper uh, 180s to 200s. But that's the process to check yield in your field. I would encourage you to do that, especially if you have any on-farm research going on. It's a nice thing to do this time of year to get out and look to see what's happening because a lot of times at harvest time you don't actually have time to do that.